Horizon Zero Dawn is all about meeting and destroying robot beasts. Okay, there might be other stuff, like a forgotten civilization and tribes and resource gathering and a huge open world, but mostly it's robot beasts. There's 23 to find in total and we're about to show you every single one of them and tell you the best way to turn them into spare parts. I'm Zoe from Games Radar Plus and welcome to our Horizon Zero Dawn robot takedown guide, starting with Watchers. Watcher. The first creature in the game which will knock you out if it gets half a chance, Watchers are most vulnerable to being shot in the eye. Funny that. A couple of well-placed arrows in the ocular orifice will take them down in no time. Or you can get close and stealthily whack them with a spear, if you have the silent strike ability. Just watch out for their leaping attack and the flaming laser balls they fire from their eye. Plus, they'll alert every machine nearby when they see you. Take them out quickly and without causing a fuss, if you can. Strider Along with Watchers, Striders are some of the first enemies you'll encounter and they're pretty easy to deal with, as long as you don't let yourself get too cornered. Either get in close and hack them once you learn the override ability, or use a fire arrow on the blaze canister on its backside to take it out, along with any nearby enemies, in a huge explosion. Grazer Similar to giant reindeers, these would-be herbivores are about as easy to take down as a strider. Lure them close with a whistle from the tall grass, then silently strike them to take them down in one hit. Or, if you don't mind running the risk of making an entire herd of them scatter, aim for the blaze canisters on their haunches. Fire at their antlers to disable their ramming attack if they look like they're about to charge. Long leg. These big, ostrich-like bots will kick your butt if you don't know how to deal with them, as they can stun you with their powerful sonic blast and call for reinforcements, if you don't take them out fast enough. Use your shock weaponry to make short work of them, and use your armour-piercing arrows to take out the antennae bits of their head if you want to be extra careful. Aim for the lung sacs on their chest to cause the most damage and disable their sonic attack, or fire at the blue canisters on their haunches. Sawtooth. The Sawtooth is the first real big boss fight you'll come across in the game, but once you get a few levels under your belt, you'll be able to take them out easily. They have a blaze canister like other robots, but this one keeps it on its underbelly, so you'll need to use your rope caster to pin it down to reach it, or simply pelt it with fire arrows until it's good and toasty, then lay into it with your armour piercing bolts. Or you could prepare the area beforehand with chip wires and traps to make short work of the feline machine. Charger. Chargers, um, well, they charge at you. They're like big rams, and when alerted, they'll speed towards the closest attacker nearby. Treat them like more aggressive broadhorns and aim for the horns and the blaze canister on its hind legs. Stalker. Not nearly as creepy as their human counterparts, stalkers are ambushing machines. They can literally turn invisible. Fun. Watch for the telltale water-like sheen in the bushes and fire off a couple of tear blast arrows to disable their invisibility. These critters move fast, so while you're busy rolling and putting some distance between you and them, aim for their yellow section in their haunches to cause the most damage. They throw themselves sideways when they leap, so don't stop moving just because they've landed. They also spew out mines. Yay! Keep an eye on the ground for any red beams of light whilst you're running around. Glint Hawk. The Glint Hawk is a majestic beast, soaring high above the land and pelting you with deadly snowballs from above. Luckily for you, it's weak against fire, so use whatever flame abilities you have to take them out. They're also much easier to deal with once they're grounded, so use your rope caster a few times on it to ensnare them and rush in for a critical hit or some free shots from your bow and arrows. Watch out for their swooping attacks though. It's worth investing in a long roll perk to get out of the way fast and aim for their chest to disable their frost attack or their wings to ground them quickly. Corruptor. Kill it with fire! Corruptors are vulnerable to the stuff, so your priority should be fire arrows. Surprise, surprise. A giant cylinder atop of their metal body spews out grenades, and taking it out is the best way to minimise grief for yourself later on in battle. Keep dodging and rolling, and watch out for its rock-throwing attack. Hit its tail to disable this pesky trick. It'll jump up high and try to land on you, so when you've baited it, get ready to fire off a flurry of arrows once it's grounded. A good trick is to set a trap where you are and then roll away at the last second so it triggers a beautiful explosion. Oh, and obviously don't let it land on you. Ravager. Ravagers are essentially deadlier versions of the Scrappers. They've got super fast close range attack and a cannon mounted on the side to kill you from afar. They're weak to a variety of abilities. Fire on the body, ice on the freeze canister on their stomach, shock on the power cell on its back and piercing on the cannon itself. Fun fact, if you shoot off its cannon, you can pick it up and use it yourself. Handy in a pinch. Snapmore. Massive, angry crocodiles that always move in packs of at least two, your first priority should be aiming at them from a distance as they can get up close surprisingly fast. First, 
and this is critical, use a bunch of tear blast arrows to blow off their armour, because if you don't, you won't stand a chance against them. Seeing as they have a frost attack, they're vulnerable to fire, but if you use some precision arrows to aim for the glands underneath their head, they'll lift their head up before firing frost at you, you can cause a snow explosion, rendering them frostbitten and susceptible to extra flame damage. If they get close, they'll hit you with a tail attack, so you want to stay as far away as possible. Just make sure you avoid their frost bombs. Scrapper. Scrappers are some of the first robots that will give you a real hard time in Horizon, as they often come in packs and can whittle your health down easily if you're not careful. They'll use a laser attack along with a pounce attack with its saw blade mouth, so make liberal use of the dodge button, and bring your hardpoint arrows or shock weaponry to take out its power cell on its hindquarters or the radar on its back. Red Eye Watcher these hunks of metal are a tad stronger than ordinary watchers, so you'll need to stay low and quiet to take them out. If you've got the multiple arrow perk, notch up a couple in your bowstring and fire at the eye. Just make sure the question mark above the head doesn't turn into an exclamation mark. A stealthy silent strike is a surefire way to take them out quickly, but make sure you don't get spotted. Broadhead Broadheads are big, bull-like robots you'll see wandering around once you make it into the more arid lands of Horizon Zero Dawn. They're a bit like grazers, they'll tend not to attack unless disturbed, but they have a blaze canister on its back like the striders that you can blow up with fire arrows. Or, if you have armour-piercing weapons, you break off its horns to prevent it from charging at you. Lance Horn Bigger, angrier grazers, these machines have drills for antlers and aren't afraid to let you know it. You guessed it, aim for these protrusions first to disable their charging attack and bear in mind that you're probably taking on a handful at a time. Put down traps before attacking to get rid of a couple at once or use tripwires to stall multiple lance horns whilst you take down their buddies. Stealthily killing them one by one from the long grass is your best bet though as the machines get angry quickly. Trampler. Imagine a charger got really, really angry. That's a trampler. The bisons of the machine world, your priority with these should be shooting their horns so they can't charge at you and then trample you whilst you're staggered. It's likely you're dealing with a whole herd too, so consider using bombs to cause large areas of effects or a rope caster to tie some of them down whilst you deal with the others. They're not particularly difficult, just make sure you don't get cornered. Shellwalker. If you're feeling benevolent, you can simply fire a couple of arrows at the large claw holding the massive canister to their back. The canister will pop out, you can sprint in and pick it up and then flee. If not, I recommend attacking from behind as much as possible. Their claws make for some devastating frontal attacks, but luckily they're pretty slow. Disable the claws first, then make sure you stay behind it to get the most strikes in with the least risk possible. Fire Bellowback. These big guys are pretty deadly, especially if they hang out with a crowd of other, more nimble beasts. They can charge at you and make a huge dent in your health, but they can also shoot flames out of their mouth from a pretty impressive distance. Use your ice attacks on its body to freeze it, and take out the big cargo sack on its back to take out its flamethrower. It's got a blaze canister under its body if you can get to it, but it's otherwise resistant to flame attacks, so only use fire if you can get a clear shot. Freeze below back. Ugh, these guys, as you'll have guessed it, use frost instead of fire. Frost makes anyone it hits much more susceptible to damage, so you'll understand why this should be avoided unless you want a tricky fight. Like the flame bellow back, aim first for the giant container of liquid on their back to cause a huge explosion. Fire arrows come in handy here, as frost types are often susceptible to it. Then, don't forget to target the glands either side of its head to take out its spewing frost and death attack. Rockbreaker the Rockbreaker is a formidable foe, digging its way underground and popping out without warning to try and slice at you with its many, many buzzsaws. Taking out this guy can turn into a battle of attrition, as you use freeze attacks to slow it down and then follow up with armour-piercing shots to chip away at its digging arms. If you can get a good shot at its fuel sack on its underbelly, you'll do a decent chunk of damage too. Behemoth. These colossal machines hang around in pairs, so, you guessed it, make sure you stay sprinting, rolling and generally getting out of the way. Tearblast arrows are a must to get rid of their tough armour and expose more of the giant yellow cylinder on their underbelly, which will take huge damage and is the primary thing you want to aim for. They have a devastating charge attack and will thrust their head into the ground and churn up rocks in your direction, so make sure to remain either behind them or to their side when fighting. They're not fast, but they're sure as hell not slow, so it's worth putting down some traps to lure them into as they won't catch up with you that quickly. Thunderjaw Thunder Jaws will wreck you if you aren't prepared, because these apex predators are not kidding around. They're able to shoot fire, ice, dash in for quick close quarter attacks, attack you from afar with a high powered disc launcher, are covered in armour plating, and have an enormous health bar. Brilliant. 
Tear Blast arrows are essential, and if you have the perk, fire off three at once to cause maximum damage and get rid of some of its armour. Do this thrice and you should be in with the chance of winning. As a top tip, if you can, always fire more than one arrow at once, as a single one will do almost nada. And never, ever, ever stop moving. Its attacks will track you, so if you stay still too long, its missiles will seek you out easily. Get round to its side and fire at its bright orange heart, and using frost bombs, which it's especially vulnerable to, it will freeze it up and make it soak up more damage. To help even the odds, go for the blaze canisters on its back, or shoot off the disc launcher and pick it up and use it against the beast. Or shoot out the data nexus on the top of its head to cause more damage. A fight with one of these is going to take everything you can muster, so bring your best armour, a ton of health potions, and expert dodging skills. Stormbird. These avian machines won't come to ground very often, so arrows are your only hope here. Use tear blast ones to get rid of some of its armour before aiming for the frost cannon on its chest, which will be firing area of effect bombs at you, unless you put it out. There's a blaze canister either side of its neck, which should be your next priority, as hitting it will cause high damage indeed. When the Stormbird is briefly on the ground, hit it with some shock bombs to stun it temporarily, then take out the orange canisters on its wings to make sure it can't return to the air. Using a rope caster will tie it to the ground for a few precious seconds, and let you get a couple more hits in, so stuck up on ropes. The Stormbird is a tricky fight, so consider investing in the Osaram Arrow Breaker armour to reduce the damage you'll take from ranged attacks. Deathbringer. These guys aren't actually as deadly as the name implies, as long as you know how to take them out. Their body is weak against fire and shock attacks, so wear it down with a few elemental blasts, and once it's weakened, it'll expose its squishier orange bits. Use your strongest armour piercing arrows and aim for anything that glows. Once it's back up and running, repeat the process until it's dead, making sure to roll frequently to keep from getting hit, of course. Corrupted Machines Corrupted machines are, essentially, deadlier versions of the robots you've already faced. Many of the same tactics apply, but they're stronger, can take more of a beating, and leave trails of red goo around that can suck away your health if you walk in it for too long. The corruption does give them one unifying trait, however. They're all weak against fire. Bring any combustible weapon you can get your hands on and lay into them until they're toast. And that completes our guide to every robotic beastie in Horizon Zero Dawn. Let us know which one you're most looking forward to to taking out in the comments below, click the boxes to the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on GamesRadar Plus.